Hi right, guys, welcome to the second episode of the Panathinaikos Beta Save for FM19. In today's episode, I've got a cracker for you. Make sure you stay tuned and keep watching. And uh, as always, just make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So in the last game we had, we had a away game against Panathinaikos. And um, unfortunately, that game was not very exciting for you guys. We only had two highlights in the whole game. Uh, one for the goal and one right at the end of the game. So hopefully, this one will be a lot better for you. It's a massive, massive game. We've got Olympiacos. It's the big derby. So it should be very fiery. I had a quick look on Wikipedia. Generally, in these games, there's pretty much a sending off in every single game. Sometimes even more. So hopefully it will be very fiery. And uh, quickly looking at the fixtures since that game. We've been on a fantastic run. We're unbeaten so far. Um, it's this, this is a bit of a weird one. We played these games. Originally we were supposed to play Olympiacos here. But then the Greek Cup appeared. And you literally play um, the group one game after another which is new to me um, but yeah obviously all the fixtures because of that shifted down uh, so we had all the cup games we won all of those uh, haven't conceded a, gay, a goal in the cup uh, unfortunately drew with Zanti but uh, we fielded a weakened team for that because we'd already qualified uh, since then we beat Apollon um, Atramitos uh, beat them both 3-1 and then we drew our last game away, which was really disappointing. But I did rest a few players with this game in mind. Um, Olympiacos played on the Sunday as well. So they've had less rest than us. Although they are favourites for this game. So with this big game today, I've got a magic word for you guys to learn. The, the word is Gavro. So basically that means anchovies. That is the nickname that Panathinaikos use for Olympiacos um, and that's basically because they're based in Piraeus and they eat a lot of seafood that's what I've been told don't shoot the messenger <laughs> uh, but that is going to be our word of the day and hopefully we get to use it a lot in the game so I think for the first time this season we are not favourites for a game uh, our form is more consistent than Olympiacos so they've only played Four games a season, so they're currently sitting in eighth, but they are unbeaten as well. They are two points behind us. Remember, we've got a six-point deduction due to our financial issues. Um, and Tropolis sit top of the league at the moment with six wins and a draw from the first seven games. Again, we're if we win today, then we will be uh, we won't be level with them, but we'll be level on performance. So uh, hopefully, we can get a good result today. Uh, the only injury news is that uh, Anthony Munier has pulled some knee ligaments, so he won't be playing. And uh, let's have a quick look at the team. So this is the team we're going to start with today. We've got Diodis in goal, Johansson, uh, Kolovetsios, Mavromantis, and Insua in defence. Corbelis, defensive midfield. We've got Kacha and Donis in the centre. And then we've got Bazukis and I'm just going to call him Schatz. He's on the left with Kobetsis up front. We've dropped... Um, Machado because he's not really performing too well this season he's yet to score a goal overall seven appearances he's only got one assist so he's not doing the business at the moment he's best as a poacher we're playing him as a deep line forward um, however he's just he's just not doing it he's not doing it he's not scoring he's not getting in the positions he's not really creating anything um, I think his positioning is an issue there I might whack him on Poacher at some point and see how he gets on. But at the moment, he is not doing too well. Um, I was optimistic about him, but he's disappointed me. So, yeah, that is our lineup. Let's see if we can get a win. So we'll quickly have a look at the Olympiacos team. I don't know if there's anyone here that anyone knows. Uh, you've got Tarodis, Vasily Tarodis, uh, at right back, 33 years old. He uh, used to play for Roma. So, uh, obviously, you might have heard of him from there. And then the big one in midfield, they got Yaya Toure. Still an absolute beast, despite being 35 years old. Um, so, he's a, pl 
player that we need to keep out of the game. Let's see if we can do it. Right, we're kicking off. Can we get a good victory? We're playing away from home, remember. Um, last game we drew 0 0. Hopefully, resting a few players will help to keep the players fresh in this game and uh, really be up for it. But I'm going to be interested to see how Yaya Torre does in this game. Obviously a fantastic player, but one player you guys need to watch out for is Donis. Because uh, he's been injured all season, he's literally just come back. Uh, he's more of a deep line playmaker, but I've been playing him as a attacking Mazella. And uh, he's done superb, he scored three goals in two games since he's come into the side. So uh, he's one to look out for. Nothing much is happening, it looks like you guys are not getting much action. Which is disappointing. I might have to switch at half time to uh, extended highlights. Because this is not good. But we have a throw for Olympiakos. Uh, great tackle there. Donis on the ball. Plays it back to Diodis. Colo hits it long. Bazookas now brings it forward. He's been tackled. And Olympiakos are on the attack. That is awful. But I love the way the ball curves. But yeah, disappointing so far. Again, we've only had one highlight in the first half. But big news here, Yaya Torre is injured and he's gone off. So that is big news for us. And it looks like the half-time whistle has come. So what I'm going to do... Uh, yeah, I'm... I'm disappointed. Passionate. Oh, I think I, uh, you're doing what you've been doing will be fine. Yeah, that is not the. That's not what I wanted to say to him. So I've made a mistake with the team talk. Uh, hopefully, it's not going to affect us too much. And yeah, I'm going to whack this on to extended highlights so we get some more. More highlights, hopefully. No, my luck is probably going to. There's going to be attack after attack now. But Olympiakos are on the ball. Maddy, Nacho, Maddy, and they've given it away, but we've we've lost it again. And we're not playing very well so far. I might have to make a change. Nacho with a free kick for Olympiakos, and he's put it over. So a couple of chances already early in the second half for Olympiakos. We aren't really threatening at all. I'll make some changes quickly. I'm going to change that to an advanced forward see what that does take off he's not playing well I'll take off chats he's not playing very well at all and the rest I'm going to leave for now let's see what happens well I might I'm going to go to more cautious actually. Confirm changes. There we go. I'm going to go a bit more cautious. Hopefully that will uh, let Olympiakos attack us a bit more and we can hit on the counter. Oh, what a save. Great save from the goalkeeper there. Stopped it right on the line. <coughs> Lost my voice there. Uh, come on. Come on. Half an hour left to go. Olympiakos on the ball again. It's all them at the moment. That's a woeful finish. They're having too much chances. I'm going to change it to positive. Be a bit more attacking. We'll see, what's our, the feedback from the, the half so far? See the corner, it's headed clear by Corbellis. Leonardo has it again, it's headed clear. Catch out on the ball now. Can we hit on the counter attack? Looks for Kibetsis. Uzakis, Donis on the ball now. Good ball to a man. A mano, I'm just going to call him a mano. Whips the ball in, great cross, headed down, catch out on the ball. Great shot by him, and it's just gone wide. So, a better, a better opportunity there. But we've again conceded the corner, it's whipped in. It's headed. Oh, I thought the keeper made the save there, but the ref says it's gone over. 
Betts is still not doing anything. So I'm going to bring on a Machado and I'm going to see how he does. I'm going to whack him in as a poacher. Let's see what he can do there. Show has been shown a yellow card. He's looking tired. What's that do? Oh, that. Oh, I thought that was a red card then, but we're on the ball boot. Zakis looking for Johansson. Johansson, good run. Brings the ball forward. He's lost the ball to Maddie. Lazarus. Oh, come on. Ogarkos on the attack now. And Panathinaikos defend it. It's whipped in. Gavlo. Gavlo, Gavlo, Gavlo. Oh, I can't believe it. Nice, no, that's it. Attack in. Can we get back in this game? Manuel. Oh, he's lost the ball. Mavro picks the ball up, looks for Cache, switch it to Ensure, can he get the ball in the box? And he holds on to it. And he's wasted it, he's lost the ball. Tarodis brings it forward. He's going to come off. Ensure is looking very tired. Tarodis, Maddy. Uh, we had a good opportunity. Ensure just needed to get the ball in the box. I would have had a chance, but he. It took too long on the ball, lost it. A trader, good pass, looks at Bazooka, whips it in. Oh, oh no, he got tired. Carolina to Gavrilo. Headed down. Come on, Pan Pan Lucas. And I switched to very attacking. Manos is through, he's put it wide. Like we've got our first defeat of the season, we've got two minutes to go. Can we get a late equaliser? Cacho's been shown the yellow card. All right. Team instructions. More direct, higher tempo, run at the fence, hit early crosses. There we go. Attack and whip. And go a bit wider. And transition. Distribute to the flanks. Take long kicks. Yeah, let's see what we can do. Four minutes of added time. They've got the ball on the edge of our box. Manos switch it in. Good tackle. Good. Oh. Some good defending there. It's gone out for another corner. Can we get rid of it? We've got a highlight here. Leonardo whips the ball into the box. It's headed down and it's gone wide. So we've still got three and a half minutes left to go. Can we get an equaliser? Yodis with a long kick. Hits it long. A trader can't do anything with it. A manner. He's lost the ball again. Back to the goalkeeper. It's hit long. Mavro heads it down for Bellis. A manner. Oik. That's going to be my short name for him. Oik. Come on. Kolo. Yodis. Long ball again. A trailer looking to flick it on. Donis. A manner. He's given the ball away a few times. Can they create zone? A trailer. Bazookas. Bazookas. Can he get the ball in? Johansson whips it in. Cache, the chain. Oh. Now, there was, if there was ever a time to score, now is it. He's wasted the opportunity. Maddie, I think the whistle's going to go in a minute. And he parks on the ball. Manos, disappointing. I can't believe we lost to Gavlo. I cannot believe it. Disappointing. And, yeah. Absolutely dominated, to be fair. 16 shots they had. Only four on target though. We had five. <laughs> More possession. Our best player was our goalkeeper, and Shield was very poor. Normally he's really good. Have a quick look at him. He's already got two goals, one assist. 
two man of the match this season. Average rating of 7.71, but he was very poor. Uh, Tolo done pretty well. Yeah, the rest in the world. He was very poor. Uh, 18 year old. Got a lot of potential. He's not that great now, but uh, if we didn't have that injury, then maybe we would have done better. But Chat's even done poor. 21 years old. He didn't do very well. He's got good pace, good crossing. Yeah, disappointing. Disappointing performance all around. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm disappointed with that. And yeah, so that is that. We um, we currently sit in sixth place after that result. Still not bad. Only one defeat, one draw this season. We've won five. We are nine points behind the leaders, uh, Tropolos. Um, Olympiacos have jumped up to fourth with that win, and they've still got two games in hand. So if they win, then they will go up to second. Um, but we have got a home game at some point against Olympiacos, so hopefully we can get our revenge in that game. And let's have a quick look to see where we're next going to be back in. Okay, so what I'll do is I will come back for this game on Sunday, the 16th of December. It's a home game against AEK Athens, uh, another local derby there. We should be favourites for that game, but let's see how we're performing in the league. That gives us, what, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six games until that game. And in that time, we play uh, Tuba Akpom's Pauk. That's away from home. And then we play top of the table before the AEK game. So it'll be interesting to see what the table looks like then. Uh, when are we playing Olympiacos again? Just out of interest. The 10th of February. That might change. But uh, you never know. That might be the next game we come back for, depending on cup competitions, Europe stuff like that okay so guys not the result that we wanted the first half was another boring boring half of football no action in that game just one highlight second half was a lot better unfortunately we couldn't get back into the game we lost 1-0 in the local derby and uh, yeah very disappointed about that but as I've said before in the other episode I don't know if I mentioned it in the other episode actually but uh, I did mention it in my in my post with the beta saves, I'm going to continue with the FM19 giveaway until um, the game should be out next Friday. So it'll be until Thursday, depending on how many episodes we can get out. But I'm going to continue doing that. So the question to give you a chance to win a copy of the game is what does today's magic word mean? Make sure you leave the answer to that question in the comment section. Remember, what does today's magic word mean? Leave your comments in the comment section. And uh, guys, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys soon. Thank you very much.